Malia, there's a big improvement in the latest stats. Nancy, the region is doing much better when it comes to hate crimes being reported, yet some members of congregation here feel differently as regional police are investigating two possible hate crimes at two churches in Waterloo. It was painted right underneath the pride flag. This is the last thing Reverend Jen Hind wanted on display at her inclusive Emmanuel United Church. I think they targeted this church because we openly support the pride flag. Romans 132, a Bible scripture, spray painted in big bold letters, sending a bold message. This verse is always used to condemn homosexuality as a general um, sweeping statement. Parkminster United Church graffitied with the same quote. This is a, a church that is known in the community for their love and acceptance, and so to see this is really disheartening. Also frustrating, the LGBTQ-friendly church targeted twice in two months. The last time we were hit with graffiti, we were advertising an LGBTQ potluck. Tonight, it's hosting a World AIDS Day vigil. There is the question as to whether that is what spurred this event to happen. In light of these two incidents being investigated as possible hate crimes, Statistics Canada says there are less hate crimes being reported in the region. 19 last year, 51 the year before that. But it doesn't mean these crimes are happening less often. These were the ones that were reported in our community. In 2016, there were 1,409 police reported hate crimes across Canada. But for those that go unreported, Waterloo Regional Police are taking targeted action. The five days of pink and along with our uh, hate, uh, hate crime extreme investigative team, uh, just a number of programs and campaigns to get that message out to have uh, the community report those types of crimes. Hind has this message for whoever did this. We will not use acts like this that are intended to engender fear um, to become fearful. We will band together in solidarity and hope. Police are investigating these two incidents as possible hate crimes, but they aren't saying whether they're related. Nancy. Malia Sheikh live in Waterloo tonight.